Good day, friends, and greetings to you on this Wednesday in uh, 2021. Trust that your year has started okay, that you are experiencing much of God's goodness, His grace, and His love, which is unchanging in a volatile, changing COVID uh, climate. Pray that you're managing okay, you and your family. Greetings from the Smith household. We are still six of us together. Some of our children have not been able to travel abroad, back to work, and so they're working remotely from home in this new year. And so we're trusting God together. It's a real joy to have them with us. What a privilege to be able to spend more time together. So the title of the message today is Rhythm of Discernment. And the text is Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. God knows you. He knows you really well. He knows your strengths and your struggles, your highs and your lows, your good qualities, your good character qualities, and some of those qualities that are not so good. After all, He made you in His image. He created you out of love so that you can love Him in return. And get to know Him, get to discern and hear His voice among all those other voices inside your mind. Sometimes, like we heard on Sunday, uh, we may hear God's voice very clearly, like young Samuel did. However, most of the time, we're going to hear His voice by cultivating the art of reading His Word regularly and systematically. The Bible, of course, at a time of our choosing during each day. So just as a loving father, an earthly father, delights and enjoys spending time with his children, so God, our Father, just waits in patient hope every day for us to want to spend that quality time with Him. And the invitation from Him is as consistent as the rising of the sun every day. So He consistently waits in hope for us to spend quality time with Him. It's an invitation from Him, but we have to choose to spend that time with Him. And as we do this, we begin to pray, pray alone or sometimes with others. And when we do this, we discover, discover what could be called a rhythm of discernment, especially for the important decisions we have to make in life for 2021. I wonder what important decisions are already pressing in on you, your family, um, your work, your circumstances. So when we cultivate this art of spending time with them and growing in this rhythm of discernment, there are certain sort of uh, characteristics that develop around it. And the first is that patience allows God to work. Psalm 37 verse 7. Be still in the presence of the Lord. Wait patiently for Him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. The second thing is that peace reveals the road ahead. Peace illuminates the road ahead. Colossians 3 verse 15. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. Notice the plural there. It's not just peace that he gives you as an individual. It's peace that comes when the road is right. We've, we've waited on him and our peace begins to rule in our hearts. Whatever is going on, whatever decisions might be pressing in, whatever our realities of the situation might be pressing in, peace begins to rule not only in us, but in our spouse, in our children. And, and it goes on to say, for as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. So we, we, we find that as the peace settles under the, on the decision, the peace begins to rule in our, in our relationships that this is the right road, not just for me, but for Shirley, for my family, whatever decisions you uh, may be making. Thirdly, power to do the right thing. You see, the decision... The right decision might not always be the easy decision. 
In fact, it might be the tougher, the harder decision to make. But because it's the right thing and it's uh, of God, then he gives us the power to do the right thing. I love this text. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20. For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. So because God loves us so deeply and consistently, despite our many failures and our sin, he still does not want us to make mistakes in the important decisions of 2021. So perhaps 2021 will be a year where you prioritize the art of hearing God's voice in the quiet. The invitation from God daily to spend quality time with Him. And when we do this, this rhythm of discernment begins to grow in us. And friends, this is the very opposite of panic decision making. And it is really a lot less stressful. Shall we pray together? Loving Father, thank you that you always wait in hope for us to spend quality time with you every day. May we take the time required to grow in this rhythm of discernment in 2021. God bless you. God lead you. God guide you. Amen.